know what time it is. It looks like it's business time. I've got my business jacket. There's a corporate bat alert going out today. Uh, Comcast, guys, we got to be worried about these bastards because Comcast, freedom. They don't care about you as an individual. They don't care about your rights to surf the web and surf anywhere you want. They want your freedom. The FCC uh, actually told them in a court order to stop limiting what people can do on the Internet because Comcast, they were uh, limiting what you could do, what you can't see, or what you could do, or what you could download. Said, no, that you can't do this. Well, uh, you know, Comcast and their bastard lawyers, they've all gotten together, and uh, they're filing suit. They filed a lawsuit, and they're trying to uh, overturn that uh, that FCC. Was it a court order that said uh, blocking users from accessing? Uh, you know, basically, hey, the Internet's free. And uh, another thing, Comcast, you guys did not create the Internet. All you guys do is uh, you know provide a service so people can get online. So why do you guys think that you own it? And a company like AT&T, why do these companies think that they own the Internet? All you guys do is provide a service, so why don't you focus on providing that service and doing it to the best of your ability? Uh, here's what Comcast wants. They want an Internet uh, where they can control exactly where you go. I mean, if, if this happens, I mean, if, if their lawyers win the case, and they've got billions of dollars and a bunch of lawyers, and what they really want to do is freedom. So if they're able to squash freedom, and they, they've got some goons in, in Washington, D.C., with white hair, who are on a pay uh, payroll, you know, a corporate payroll from whatever, or they're getting uh, campaign funding, here's what will happen. They'll basically uh, have a free ticket to uh, feed you whatever content you want. The Internet could turn into something like a TV, you know, where you, uh, you they tell you what you can see at what time you can see it. They can tell you what sites you can log on to. If they don't want you to log on to uh, this independent site, they can shut it down or they can block access to it. I mean, th these are all theoretical possibilities. I doubt it's going to go that far, but this is the kind of stuff we're dealing with. Action. we got to Right now i got on my business jacket because this is a business uh, video, taking care of business. But if, if we need to, I'm going to put on face paint and get my damn axe out. That's right. I'm metaphorical, of course, in case you're a weakling and a liar and you're watching this thing. Ah, he's going to kill somebody with an axe. I know, it's, it's a metaphor for we got to fight back. we got to meet them on their own turf. Uh, we can't put up with the corporations trying to squash our freedom. It's mine and yours on the Internet. It's a free world. We can say what we want, and we can do what we want. And it's our Internet. We created it. Those are our websites, not Comcast's or AT&T's or anybody else that wants to squash it. So uh, one thing we can do, I'm going to put the uh, website on the screen. Actually, you know what you need to do? You need to go over to uh, Raise the World right now because I'm putting up a blog about it. There's going to be a link there where you can go to help to raise money. Uh, they need to raise about $25,000 today. Uh, I'm going to donate a little bit of money myself, even though I don't have much in the bank, but it's important because if there's no Internet, there'll be none of this. So that's a corporate bastard alert for the day. Let's do something about it. Let's fight. Let's fight.